Welcome back, Legendary Potato here. Today I want to show you guys how to do some basic inventory editing in Universal Minecraft Editor. So here I'm going to place some blocks into my inventory, as well as my armor slots and offhand slot. Once you're happy with how your inventory looks, you can exit and save and load it up onto the mod program. So first thing we're going to do is load up our world onto the tool. And we're going to locate our player where the inventory is. And what we're going to do here is use the new quick mod that has just released where you can now edit your inventory as easily as this. It pops up a little menu and shows visually what your inventory looks like with the armor and inventory slots. Keep in mind that it does not show the offhand at the moment, but it might in the future. So first I'm going to change each of these blocks. I'm going to change this first one to a barrier. I'm going to change the count to 64. This is how many items will be in this item. So I'm going to use that as that as the counter is 64, an entire stack. I'm going to do a monster spawner next. I'm going to count the 64 as well. As you can see right there, I'm going to change it. Next, I'm going to make an off redstone torch. So this, I'm going to show you guys what damage values are. So here, I'm going to pick a piece of wool. I'm going to set the count to 64. But as you can see here, the ID is wool, and there's a zero. So zero is damage value. So when you have items that are similar, such as wool, which have different color variations, there are these things called damage values, which depict what color that wool is going to be. So ID 15 would be black. ID 14 is red, which we're going to use in this situation. Uh, so just understanding how damage values work can be important. So I'm going to set mine to 14 for red. For this last one, I'm going to use lava, still lava, which now works. I'm going to set the count to 64 as well. I'm also going to delete the dirt as I feel like it is unnecessary. And I just wanted to show off that it does show visually every single block. Now let's go ahead and modify the armor. I want to change the helmet to become a glass block so it looks like I'm an astronaut. So here I'm putting a glass block on my head and as you will see it'll be on my head and it'll look like I'm in a spacesuit. So here you can't modify the offhand using this new GUI, however you can just do it easily the old fashioned way. I changed it to a diamond sword so now there's a diamond sword in my offhand. You can't do anything with it but it just looks kind of cool to have it in your offhand anyways. Once you're done, you can save and go back onto the Xbox. As you can see, I now have a diamond sword on my offhand, as well as the items in my inventory that I wanted. So if I want to, I can also hold two diamond swords at the same time, so I'm going to demonstrate that here as well. As you can see, now I have two diamond swords, so I can look super intimidating. As well as that, I also have the glass block on my head, as you can see there. Now here are all the modded blocks. Here's the still lava, it doesn't flow unless if it's updated. Off torch, monster spawner, and the barrier block. So if you guys did enjoy this video, a like would be really appreciated. If you guys want to see more modding tutorials in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss more content in the future. But that'll be all from me, guys. Make sure you do download this program down in the description if you haven't already. And credits to LP for making it. But I'll see you guys in the next one. So have a good one. I'll see you guys next time.